One of the benefits of working with potential energy instead of force is that it's easier to visualize potential energy as causing an object to roll downhill instead of an abstract force causing the same object to accelerate in a given direction. This is why the rubber sheet is such a popular demonstration of potential energy, gravity, and angular momentum. We can create a similar rubber sheet visualization in our Euler Cromer code. To make a rubber sheet visualization, we loop over a range of x and z values, setting the height of our rubber sheet equal to the potential energy at that location. Since we're going to need to use the y direction to show the hilliness of our potential energy, we can only work with motion along the x and z directions. We create the rubber sheet using vPython's curve function, which you can learn more about in the video linked in the description below. Then, as we move the ball along the x and z directions under the influence of the potential energy, we set its y coordinate equal to the value of the potential energy so that it will track along the rubber sheet. The resulting animation for the spring potential energy shows oscillations like we've seen before. But now we can see how the ball reaches different values of potential energy as it circles around. The gravitational potential energy also makes for an interesting rubber sheet visualization. When the planet gets closer to the star and begins to slip downward in potential energy, it speeds up to compensate. This speeding up keeps angular momentum consistent and prevents the planet from falling into the star. Try out the rubber sheet visualization with these other potential energies that we've studied before. Next time, we'll look at adding multiple gravitational potential energies to our rubber sheet visualization.